Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to look at how to find in a missing NVIDIA control panel and or restore the context menu and the tray icon. So this is an update to our previous video because everything that worked before did not. We'll explain at the bottom of the video if you're interested. So what we want to do is you're expecting to see it in one of three places. One would be you're expecting to see it here and it's not. So start, is it under the end under NVIDIA control panel? You're expecting to see it right here as a tray icon and you're also expected to be able to find it right here. So if you don't have it here, that's the three ways to access it. So let's get at that. Here's what you want to do. You want to download the control panel from the Microsoft Store. Click the link here. And once again, this video, as always, will be linked to in the video description so you can follow along on this page with the video embedded, as you can see. Or whatever's good for you, you can just type it into Google and Video Control Panel Microsoft Store. Here we are. So you want to click on Get. You're going to see one of two things when the store opens. And that is going to be Launch if you have it installed. Or, let me click that Open Microsoft Store. Or, I believe it might say Install. So go ahead and click whichever one you need to do, install or launch. And there's your control panel. Now you have some options. Let's go up to the desktop here and decide where you want to see it. You saw earlier I had the desktop context menu. So if I come out here now, you can see much like you, probably gone. So you can put it back by clicking on add desktop context, desktop context menu. Slow down, Tim. All right. And then additionally, if you want to put it in the tray, desktop, show, notification, tray icon. That gives you three possible places to find it anywhere going forward down the road. That should fix just about everybody. What I didn't take out of our guide was if that fails, you may have to update your drivers. It's somewhat similar. I think step one is going to work for everybody. Normally we say download the latest drivers. We do have links here, Windows 10, 7, and 8. But in this case, we do what we normally don't do. And that's press the Windows key plus S and go to Device Manager. Just start typing in Device Manager until you see it. And expand your display adapter. Click there. Right click and click on Update Driver. And then search automatically for updated driver software. What's going to happen is you're going to get one of two responses. Your driver's going to be updated or you're going to be told you're up to date. So if it updates your drivers, it should restore the control panel, similar to going to the Microsoft Store. So one of those two should work for you, probably step one. If not, go ahead and download the latest drivers yourself. And during the installation, just make sure that you leave everything set to default so it installs everything like it's supposed to. Now, in this guide, we're pretty much done because it's that simple now. A bit redundant does remind you how to restore, which we discussed, desktop, and how to restore that control panel system tray or context menu. And finally, for those who've made it to the end of the video, here's what we did change. There used to be a folder. It was Program Files NVIDIA Corporation. And what was the next one? Control Panel Client. As you can see, it no longer exists. So remove the steps that allowed you to run the executable, which used to be in there, nvcplui.exe. That folder doesn't exist, and that file does not exist in that folder, obviously. So that doesn't work anymore. Another suggestion we used to have, and they're still out there in almost all the guides out there at the time of this video, was to go to another computer, grab their folder, their control panel client folder, and put it in your computer reboot and once again run the executable again both of these are redundant they no longer work because it doesn't exist so i think you're going to find most of you're going to solve your problem once you go to the microsoft store everything's back just remember as soon as you launch it just remember to put it somewhere where you can find it. at least the desktop context menu even though again i don't like to keep repeating myself you should still be able to find it here but just in case so once you do click launch from here make sure you've got it somewhere where you can find it later because that's why we're all here and there you have it guys girls everybody thank you for watching as always in the bottom right hand corner is a little subscribe button with our logo you click on that you can subscribe click like if we helped you and more importantly if you have another suggestion let us know because the microsoft store tip and the drivers that allowed me to rewrite this entire guide 
came from people on YouTube who gave us the suggestions. You guys rock. Thank you for always as watching. See ya.